Macca's guides. <laughs> Hey, what's up guys? Mac here playing Trials Fusion Fire in the Deep DLC, getting the Infernal Squirrels achievement for collecting all three squirrels in this DLC. Now, there's so many people who helped me out in this that there, it'd be impossible for me to name all of them. So thanks to everyone who sent me a message on Xbox, on Twitter, on TA, on every possible website you could. Thanks for helping out. Squirrel number one on Bottom Dweller. What we're going to need to do is uh, near the beginning of the track, we're going to come down this kind of uh, little half pipe thing and we have to bail out onto this uh, valve. Once we're on it, we're gonna hold the left stick and hold it to the right in order to turn the valve, which will open up this water pipe and clear out that fire. You should see a squirrel sign directly behind that fire now. You'll, you will need to progress through the map and hopefully you don't do it as poorly as I did. You can fault as many times as you want uh, on your way there, so don't, don't quite worry about it. On our way there, as you see me slowly going, it's only about two or three checkpoints from where we turn the valve. Eventually you'll come up this ramp, you'll go forward over these explosives, and what we're going to need to do is instead of going up where we would normally go, we have to uh, go forward. Don't bail, make sure you stay on your bike, and you should end up in this pit. Once you end up in this pit, you're going to have to roll backwards. I would recommend you have a little bit more speed rolling backwards than me, but it's all good. Once we hit the bottom and we don't hit the explosives, back up all the way to the left hand side of the screen. You're going to need to push down on the left stick in order to pull the dynamite. And then you're going to actually have to move your bike, which is off the screen, so be careful. And you're going to have to go towards that hole. And once you do, you should um, trigger this, which will be your first squirrel if we're following the order of the video. Next one is Deeper Underground. Um, this one is part of the maze, which is in the first person mode, which you should know pretty well by now. Um, eventually, you'll come into the area with the small no bikes allowed sign. Press Y to bail out to enter first person mode and then follow me in the maze. I'm going to be doing it quite quick as we've probably done this maze two or three times already in other videos. Um, so keep track of where exactly I'm going. We're going to climb up the scaffolding, jump down onto this beam, jump down again. As soon as we enter, we're going to go left through the bush, up the hill. Um, we're going to turn right, continue forward, continue up this ramp, across a beam. We're going to keep, this is a pretty long one guys, so uh, stay tuned. We're going to enter in this room, keep right, then keep left, go through these tubes. We'll enter uh, a new room after this, and you'll see kind of what I'm talking about. There's still a ways to go. Um, as we exit this pipe, you'll see the arrow, follow it to the left. You'll see a locked gate in front of me, and as we do that, make sure you turn to the left, and we're going to go up a small piece, a plank of metal, if that's even a term. Keep going forward. We'll enter this room with the boxes. Keep this room in mind. We're going to come back here, but instead turn left, turn left again, turn right, go back beyond this wall, up the ladder, use the scaffolding across the top of the room to cross the room. Now that we're across, we're almost there, guys. Um, we're going to keep going. We're going to basically be going to that final room right before we drop down into the bushes. Um, so this is where that is. On the left, you'll see the pylons. That's where we drop down. But instead, turn right, walk up to that gate, and the gate will open. Now that the gate has opened, progress forward. You can actually uh, go backwards if you want from where we came, but it's okay. Uh, this is the plank of wood we crossed not that long ago, so you should recognize this area. We're going to end up in the room with all the boxes here. Instead of going to the left, we're going to go forward into the hallway, and we're going to go to the very back corner and turn to the left. You'll notice that all these doors are locked, including the one I'm about to go to. It's locked. To unlock it, I don't know if there's a very specific thing the game wants you to do. What I did to unlock it every time was I turned around, went to the middle gate with my back turned towards that door, stood here for about two seconds, and then when I turned back and went back to that door, it seemed to be open. I don't know if that's the proper way to open it. I'm sure someone in the comments will know better than me, but that's the way I opened it 100% of the time. You'll enter this room now that it's open. Go to the back of the room. You'll see that the uh, wall is opening behind me. And the wall will open to reveal a pipe. So you're going to walk through that pipe all the way to the very end. And you should notice a squirrel at the very end um, in order to get your second one. So that was a little bit overly complicated for one squirrel, but not too bad. The last one we have here is on Iron Incendiary. Uh, about halfway through the map, we're going to come to this area where you have to... Um, progress up these, uh, I don't know what you would call them, grates of metal. 
and you'll end up halfway up here and this is where you're going to want to take your fast speed up the hill bail at the very top grab onto this chain you can grab onto the very top or very bottom of the chain it's completely up to you i obviously grabbed on pretty high up and that'll trigger a cinematic which is very long although the scroll should unlock right at the beginning of that cinematic there it is 32 out of 32 and my achievement unlocking thank you guys for watching as always i hope you did enjoy the video you can subscribe for more content like this in the future other video games as well i cover all the time thank you for watching i'll see you next time peace